This is the, this is the uh, freight trains coming down from Murray Bridge through the Adelaide Hills. I'm in the federal seat of Boothby, just before an election, looking at the uh, railway lines coming down from the Adelaide Hills, from Mount Barker, Murray Bridge, Keith and beyond, and looking at this study done in 2010, the Adelaide Rail Freight Movement Study. This study shows that the railway line through the Adelaide Hills is needing upgrade back in 2010 which they estimated would cost 0.7 of a billion dollars in 2010 money. Freight trains through the Adelaide Hills move more slowly averaging only 35 kilometers per hour because of tight curves and steep terrain. This performance compares with the target average speed for the Melbourne Adelaide corridor of 60 kilometers per hour. So that you've got the same issue if the slowest vehicle trains passing through the Adelaide Hills, the freight trains, if you're going to have passenger trains trying to use the same rower lines from Mount Barker, they'll also be restricted to going at 35 kilometers an hour. Crossroads is also the major heavy freight road designated by the Australian Government. We're done with park. Let's now look at a peri-urban public transport system in Oregon in Washington, in Washington State, the United States. This is Hatfield Government Centre in one of the counties of Washington State. And this is the city of uh, and county of Portland. And what looks like a rather flat country with a high CBD and a more diverse rural environment. We'll see that. This is Oregon CBD and this is Hatfield and in between the two there is a 300 metre high granite mountain range between the two. What they decided to do was build a, a tunnel through this granite mountain range, a dual tunnel with a portal at <coughs> At, sun, at Sunset Hills and the other portal at Goose Hollow and this is called the Robinson Tunnel. And this has a railway station in the middle of the tunnel which sits beneath the Washington State Oregon Museum and this is reached from a lift entrance at ground level at the surface in the zoo down nine stories down to the actual station in the tunnel. This, this tunnel is not flat As we can see, the Sunset Hills portal is at an elevation of 181 metres and the Goose Hollow portal 
is at an elevation of 61 metres, a difference of 140 metres, across a length of 4.76 kilometres. So that this is too steep to be used by trains with a locomotive at the front of the engine of the uh, system. So what you've got is multi-engine, multi-wheeled powered trains such as the newer high-speed trains and more particularly the so-called trams or streetcars. A streetcar, a tram in Australian parlance and streetcar in the United States context is a vehicle which wants smooth movement and no shunting between different parts of the train so all the wheels go at the same time and so each wheel of the train in this case a tram or light rail is powered by its own electrical engine and so this means that this is not 1% grade the grade is such that you can only use it with a more advanced system such as a tram or tram tr or light rail so this is only parked at level crossing with crossroads the major freight road as, designa as is designated by Commonwealth Government and the State Governments. If we're going to have a tunnel through the Adelaide Hills it cannot be purely a freight train tunnel or a passenger train tunnel. We're going to need to have a tunnel which can handle both kinds of trains. Now the trains are going to ideally be double stacking. As we've seen double stacking is now the way that freight handlers want to keep costs down using rail. We come to an aerial view of this proposal. The thin line in yellow is the option three and the point of entry of that tunnel onto the main track is either here slightly south of the level crossing in Unley Park or and proposing here slightly north of the level crossing but the key thing was to get rid of this level crossing. The Hills Tunnels I'm calling it, its portal would be just here near Belair Road at near the current Mitcham railway station and the Hills Tunnel would then go underneath the Belair railway station and create a new Belair underground station this station would have side tracks for what are called local trains, trains that stop at each of the stations and if it's an express train it goes straight down the middle. Express tra freight trains would go straight down the middle as long, along with the express passenger trains. If we've looked at the profile we'll see that at Verdun there's a dip in the topography and we could actually consider near the Amble side loop on the existing railway lines which is shown in red that we have an underground station here. Because freight trains can only really handle 1% one one grades we are forced to use an underground railway station if we wish to have freight trains and passenger trains share. Unlike Portland where they have a much steeper gradient they're using passenger trains only with each wheel of that light rail having an engine on it so that the system can handle the this steeper, steeper gradient. When we come to Mount Barker Township, we'll see the Option 3 tunnel pass close to Mount Barker Township and the proposal is that we would have a park and ride near the actual township with an underground station with two or three platforms on each side because Mount Barker would probably be the terminus for many 
passenger trains coming from the city and going to the city but other passenger trains would come further east from Mount Murray Bridge and from Keith and beyond. We can see here that the track between Mount Barker Junction and Caman 2 is is very twisting and windy and so this track is unsuitable for any high speed passenger trains and so the tunnel with portal could be at Caman 2. It's quite a steep slope from Caman 2 down to Callington and the 2010 report was talking about having the option 3 start at Callington. At the moment I'm proposing to have the portal at Cayman 2. A bit further along we come to Monato. Monato in the Dunstan area was going to be a second metropolis that uh, was going to um, take the pr pressure off the uh, c city of Adelaide, the CBD of Adelaide, the metropolitan area of Adelaide and so Monato was a proposal. More recent time was a Globelink proposal where they're going to have a freight and passenger airport here alongside the Monato railway line and that proposal was briefly looked at but in the report it didn't make any mention of passenger trains it was only dealing again with freight make this proposal viable we need to consider both freight and passenger trains through the same tunnel with electric trains to get the trains moving without pollution from diesel and thirdly we need to have the tunnel high enough to be able to take not only the electricity wires but also double stacking of the containers on the freight trains